G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I am here with Amy and we are ministering to 10 people. Yes. If you'd also like to receive ministry in this format, please write your name in the comment. Alright, so the first person I want to minister to is Carolina Smith. So Carolina, the Lord shows me a shofar that's being blown and as the Lord blows the shofar over you, the blood of Jesus covers you and the Lord establishes a covenant with you and the Lord says, Carolina, you are my covenant people. I'm walking with you. Uh, I'm not separate from you and my glory is dwelling with you. And just like the glory of God was with the Israelites and the glory of God came to earth and is inside of you, I just see how you radiate uh, uh, with the glory of God. And even when people come to your house, when they meet you, they just feel the love, joy, the glory and the light of God that's in your life. And you know, the sound of that shofar is also the sound uh, of uh, the blood of Jesus is the sound uh, of the covenant is the sound of God being with you the sound of the armies of heaven that is on your side and I felt the Lord is saying this is a season of breakthrough a release of the old and then moving into the new covenant that he has for you God bless you Carolina Amen. God bless you Carolina God loves you this next word is for Manuel Manuel the Lord loves you very much and just while praying for you I just feel the Lord is going to give you so much wisdom um, of how to express the light the love of God um, not only by words but also through um, a lot of different and creative ways and I just saw a picture of how you um, just like David when he was singing songs to Saul um, to give Saul peace because um, um, he, he was being tormented and then when he worshipped then Paul received um, Saul received peace and I just feel how the Lord is giving you that gift as well to, to a lot of people to sing songs of worship and of peace that's people's going to be like wow there's no other way but through God and I just feel the Lord has really anointed you to be a messenger God loves you so much and I just feel God is bringing breakthrough um, and, yeah to your family God loves you God bless you Hello. Um, Manuel, um, I feel you are a spiritual force to be reckoned with. You don't always in your mind think that you are the most spiritual guy, but I felt that the Lord is just saying, I'm putting a lot of anointing on you, also anointing that you inherited, and you're going to move in the power of God. God bless you, Manuel. Okay, so Angela, uh, the Lord is showing me that Nabi uh, flow. The, the overflow of the anointing and the prophecy uh, and the words of encouragement uh, even, even the accuracy, the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge the gifts of the, the Holy Spirit, the, the gift of prophecy uh, flowing out of your life in a mighty way and the Lord says, uh, daughter you are going to touch many uh, you are going to heal many uh, because I'm going to use you and, I'm, and you are an instrument in my hand and just like God says, you are the clay and I'm the potter I see how you surrendered yourself completely to Him and He can form you and He's molding you into His instrument in His hands God bless you Amen. God bless you. This next word is for Maggie. Maggie, God loves you so much. Oh, Joanna. sorry, Johanna. Sorry, so sorry. This next word is for Joanna. Joanna, the Lord loves you very much. And I just feel the Lord says you are uh, far more precious than rubies. I saw a picture of how you spend time with God and how he talks through you and how you're writing down scripture, his word, his love, um, promises over your life. But also, I just feel God is really giving you the desires of your heart and he's giving you goals and I just feel the Lord says don't give up and also come to me to receive a new portion of hope and faith because I feel like there's a lot of things that happen this year that really try to um to bring it down but I just feel the Lord says I'm I'm um bringing acceleration for that into your life God loves you so much you're so precious to him God bless you okay. awesome you honor uh, God's hand is upon you and the Lord sees the hunger in you and the Lord says blessed are uh, the hungry because they will be satisfied and so the Lord says I will satisfy you all right God bless you so the next word is for Maggie uh, Maggie the Lord shows me an evangelistic anointing on your life uh, to sponsor people to walk with people especially when I just gave their life to Jesus when I just walk in that first steps uh, and then I see also that healing anointing on your life but that healing anointing is not only for you to heal others but also for your own life for your own family to be completely healed and to be made a whole and the Lord says what the enemy has taken uh, in the past will not be uh, a scar that will be forever on your life the Lord will heal you and he will uh, restore you completely God bless you Maggie Amen. God bless you, Maggie. God loves you. This next word is for Anami. Anami, while praying for you, I just saw a picture of how um, 
it, it was like, so you know those jousters, right? With their horses and their sticks. And I just saw how God gave you the courage to just be a forerunner and go straight. And obviously, like, you have to, you can't stop because you don't want to lose momentum. And I just feel the Lord says there were a lot of things that happened that you 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 went for it, then you lost momentum, and you went for it, and you lost momentum. Because I feel like you're a very careful person. But I just feel God is really saying, now's the time to fly. Now's the time to go. And how God is really giving you supernatural focus to 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 look at your target and to keep on going and I just feel the Lord has given you an anointing to be a leadership um, I just see you as a mom to a lot of people and your kids and how you lead them into the presence of God and you have a message of righteousness and purity that the Lord has clothed you and God loves you so much God bless you enemy enemy uh, God loves you uh, thank you very much for your involvement and just being heart and soul uh, connected uh, to us here at Unity with Heaven. We really love and we appreciate you and we cover you by the blood of Jesus. Uh, so the next uh, word is for Vilna. Okay, Vilna, the Lord has made you both a mother in a natural and also in a spirit. And He's giving you authority to cover people, to speak to people, to, uh, to, to connect people to the destiny and the plan that God has for them in their lives. And I feel that the Lord says, I put on your life an intercession anointing. And when you stand before my throne and you do repentance and you do uh, the, the, the prayer and the intercession, the Lord is going to use you in a mighty way. And so you do not have to fear. I am with you. I'm blessing you. And I'm going to use you in a mighty, mighty way. And I just see as you pray how the windows open up, the windows of heaven, and how blessing come. And how you can even uh, pray for different ministers and even for different family members and for children. And in that process, the heavens open and the Lord pour out His blessing. God bless you, Volna. Amen. God bless you, Volna. God loves you. This next word is for Sam. Sam, I just feel how there's been a lot of drought and you've been praying for rain. And then um, and then the, the clouds come, but you're like, no, 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 there must be more. And then you keep on praying and then you keep on praying. Even though the clouds are getting heavier and heavier, you're like, no, there's still more. And I just feel the message that God has for you is you're going to say to God is singing to you. God is singing over your family that there is so much more. And I just feel the Lord says, the clouds are just going to get heavier and heavier and my rain is going to fall my glory is going to fall and I just feel how the Lord says that there's going to be a lot of breakthroughs and I just feel the Lord says it's time to prophesy life over 2025 and I just feel the Lord says that um, it was like 2024 was like um, all the rubble was, was taken out 2025 is going to be the year of where God is going to make a foundation in your business, in your ministry in 2026 I just feel like that's where, where it's going to be properly established so I just feel the Lord says that it's time to um, to build the my foundation and it's time and it's it's start it's time to start building and God's gonna send resources and he's gonna send amazing people into your life God loves you God bless you hey Sam uh, God bless you thank you very much also for your your pure pure spirit you you always pure and full of the light of God and full of joy God bless you Sam okay so the next word is for Jog van Jerden Job, the Lord shows me how you walked a path by yourself and how God was with you. He didn't leave you alone. But the Lord says, just like I sent the disciples out to two and even the apostles went out in groups, uh, most two or more. I feel that the Lord says that from this moment, you're not going to do things by yourself, but you're also going to be sent out to two, two, two in business or even more and two, two in ministry, two, two in family, two, two in um uh, in the sports that you do or uh, in the people that you reach out to or even the traveling that you do or um, you know the, the, the people that you speak to and I feel that the Lord says you I, I don't want you to do things by yourself I want you to do things in a team and so when you do things in a team of course it causes you to mature and it also causes you to build team but you are a team man so it's not gonna be difficult for you that's how God built you and I just felt that the Lord says find that partner you're gonna, he's going to show you, okay, there's the right family partner, there's the right business partner, there's the other business partner, uh, there's the, the, the sport partner where we can do sport together, there's my vacation partner, there's my ministry partner, and I just felt that the Lord is going to hook you up with the right partners. God bless you, Jock. 
And then God bless you, Jock. God loves you. This next word is for Barnabas. Barnabas, the picture God showed me for you was how um, for a while it was like you were trying to build this chair, the seat of rest um, for you to receive your peace. And you're like, okay, to get peace, I need to work really, really hard so I can get it. But I just feel the Lord is reminding you that his rest and his peace is a gift. And I just saw how um, you went through a time where that seat of rest totally crumbled. And I just saw how God gave you a new seat to sit on where you could be seated with God in heavenly places and I just feel the Lord says I've given you a kingly anointing and I've given you a calling to sit in my peace um, and I'm bringing a lot of restoration into your life and I'm calling you to really lead my people into peace um, God loves you so much God bless you Hey Barnabas, uh, God's hand is upon you. God bless you. Thank you for being part of Unity with Heaven family. It was such a pleasure for us to minister to you today. All right. And so I want to remind you, go to the Unity with Heaven channel where we do the teachings. Go and check it out. Leave me some comments. If you would like to receive word here at the Unity Prophetic Ministry, write your name there. And then of course, go and check out Amy's channel. It's called Amy Storm. All right. Family, we love you. God bless you. Yes. Bye. I just want to quickly just give you this money. Yes, go for it. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable, and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.